What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Out here sitting in the boat. And uh, today we're gonna talk about my top five baits for February. The month of February can be some of the best fishing the entire year, especially for those giant fish. You know, for whatever reason, you always hear about the biggest fish getting caught in that cold water. Don't know why, just seems to happen all the time. So February is a great month to get out and catch some bass. And I just picked out five of my favorite baits for the month of February. All right, so let's jump in. First up, number one choice, whenever it's applicable, is gonna be a rattle trap. Now you can't fish this everywhere. You can fish this over grass, you can fish it on, on gravel. It's not very good around wood. You know, it might get hung up in the wood, but whenever you're fishing big grass flats or creek drains with some grass in the sides, stuff like that, a rattle trap is the way to go. When the water's cold in February, I like to start with a red. You know, those crawfish are gonna be red. Um, generally speaking, the water's gonna have a little stain to it. It's not gonna be perfectly crystal clear. Now again, depending on your body of water. But I go with a red trap. So this one here is the regular rattle trap. That's what I start with. But if I get in an area, I only get a couple bites on this and I feel like there's more fish and I wanna try something different, I'll pick up the knocking trap totally different sound and it will cause different fish to react to this bait rather than this bait you know it sounds completely different in the water and it triggers their lateral line completely different so these you know look identical they're the same shape same size everything but that sound and that vibration frequency totally changes the uh, the fish that will eat this bait so after red, I do have one other color option. I like this purple chrome color right here. I believe this is Royal Shad. Um, that's an excellent color for when the water's a little bit cleaner and you're looking to imitate those shad. For whatever reason, the purple works really good when the water's cold. So I'd pick up this guy right here if you're looking for an alternative color to red in the rattle trap. So that's my number one choice. Second choice, this is gonna go along with fishing the grass and that's gonna be a chatterbait, bladed jig, vibrating jig, whatever you wanna call it. These right here, these are just a jackhammer. Um, and again, I'm gonna go with a red color and I'm gonna go with a shad color. That's pretty much it. Keep it simple. In February, you wanna use a, a red crawfish color and a, a shad imitator and that's pretty much all you need. So on the back, I got the new Yamamoto three inch Zeko. So I like a smaller profile in this cold water. Um, you know, they got a bunch of different colors that you can match it and make it look very realistic. Like they got this one here. This is the fire crawl color and it matches up with this fire crawl chatterbait perfectly. So it just looks like a very natural red crawfish swimming through the water and ripping out of the grass. Now you can really slow roll these, these chatterbaits in the colder water. So, you know, you wanna just slow roll that bait so it's ticking over the top of that grass. If it gets hung up a little bit, give it a snap or two and uh, it'll cause a reaction strike. And then on this one here, I think this is a, a clear water shad color chatterbait and I'm putting the disco green Yamamoto Zeko on there, three inch version. Like I said, very important to keep that profile small because um, those fish are, are lethargic in the cold water. So they're just gonna kind of react to it. They're not gonna be chasing it down and swallowing this thing. So you want a little bit smaller profile so when they do react to it, they get that whole bait and that hook in their face right there. So number two, gotta go with the chatterbait. All right, number three, this is gonna be for that little bit deeper water. So if you wanna fish offshore in the middle of drains, um, chasing suspended fish, it's gonna just be an underspin with a small swim bait on it. So this right here is the Epic Baits underspin. Three eighths ounce. But the cool thing about this Epic Baits underspin 
is this wire weed guard. So you can literally fish this bait right through brush piles. And it's one of my favorite ways to catch them in February. So you get those fish that have, have uh, you know, spent their winter out deep and they're starting to just slowly make their transition into the spawning haunts and there's gonna be some stopping point. And a brush pile is a great place to do that. So they're gonna stop on a brush pile and just sit there and you can literally crawl this underspin right through the brush. These wire weed guards keep it out and it just swims up and through the brush very easily. Of course, you got the nice blade on there that's flashing the whole time. And then, like I said, I just like to add a little small swim bait on there and uh, makes the perfect little shad profile. That flash from the blade is just triggering them to eat. And uh, then, once you get them hooked, this is a super stout hook on this underspin. And uh, you get a good hook set, they stay pegged. This is an excellent little bait for February right there. All right, going with the uh, fishing offshore and fishing even the brush piles is going to be a jerk bait. But more specifically, this is the brand new Bill Lewis scope stick. This is the 120 SK7. So what that means is this is a sinking jerk bait. So this bait right here will dive to seven feet on its own. You know, if you just cast it out and wind it in, it's going to dive to seven feet. But whenever you pause this, it slowly sinks head first. So it looks like a dying shad while it's paused, but that allows you to get this bait down even deeper. So if you make a long cast, count this bait down, it's slowly sinking. So you can get this bait down to, you know, 10, 12, 15 feet if you're patient enough. And you can work this bait right over a brush pile, any, any type of deep structure and get a different presentation that deep you know the bass have not seen a jerk bait that deep so this bait right here is going to be a fish catcher in february if you have the patience to count it down get it down deep and then it's going to have that great jerk bait action side to side over top of those deep brush piles and those deep fish so the scope stick sinking model is a definite must have in february all right last up this is going to be for your shallow cranking. You know, there's been a lot of tournaments, especially early in the year in February, one on just a little red crankbait, six foot diver, six, eight foot diver, fishing riprap, fishing bridges. I can think of a few major tournaments that have been won fishing bridges on a little red crankbait. So we're going with this right here. This is the Bill Lewis MR6. Mark Daniels designed this bait right here. It's a six foot diver, perfect little crankbait for February. You know, it comes standard with super sharp, sticky EWG style hooks. So there's no need to change out the hooks, but you can take this bait right here, tie it on and just cast and wind. It's super simple. You don't have to do anything crazy to it. Cast it, wind it in, and you're gonna catch some big fish in February. Of course, I like the red color early in the year as we talked about earlier, but excellent for February is the Bill Lewis MR6 crankbait. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully uh, these baits can help you catch a few more fish in the month of February. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.